All right, here we are with bronze core, a foreign posted level. Um, wow, look, we even had a <laughs> fire weapon here, but yeah. This stage is a foreign posted level, and it looked badass as hell, so I wanted to try it out. It was built by Red Robot there. Yeah. And for some reason, <laughs> as you probably can see there, as long as I edited my little scoreboard there, um, the level had a voting of negative seven, um, which is very interesting to me. Um, like we'll see. Um, there might be something like that's very frustrating or something about this level. I can already tell it's going to be quite hard here. But yeah, here we can definitely just sheep this guy out here by just shooting from here. Whoa. Yo, 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 oh my goodness! Oh my god, yeah, this is going to be a hard stage. I can already tell. Huh. It's kind of funny how you use fire to take out fire here. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, this is really hard even. Um, luckily, I saw that the stage is only about 28 screens long, so even though it's going to be hard, yeah, at least it won't drag on for too long here. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my god, yeah, I <laughs> screwed that up. Um, I mean, I guess... Yeah, we should just try and get the key there. Let's just... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Wow. But yeah, um, as I was about to say there, on my first run through here, like, I came in here and I wasted so much time there on the first screen now that I know what I'm doing here. It's going to be a little bit faster. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad. I really want to see what's behind here. It's probably an E-Tank or something or other, but... Ooh. Or maybe an entirely different path. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Oh my god. I <laughs> timed that very poorly. Oh my god. We get the fire zone and stuff. Huh. Interesting. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> wow. It actually works quite well against these guys, I have to say. <laughs> I'm just going to jump over here. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You have to be very careful with the fire sword. Like, when you land from a jumping attack. Like, if you're in the animation, you can't continue, you know, your... Well, I should say, you can't... You can't jump after you land with the flame <laughs> sword animation here. So, yeah, you have to be very careful on the shadow platforms there. And, dude, I'm so hoarse in my throat. No, I <clears throat> notice. Ugh. Yeah, this... This is a really tough path. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're back here again. Let's try and do this a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> you have barely any space to move there. Um, it's a little bit frustrating, actually. You know, can we... Nope, we can't go back. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I'll see you back there again. All right, here again. Um, yeah, you really don't have very much. Okay, you can actually just stand like this. You don't have to jump out over there. But you see, this here is a little bit unfair, I have to say. Like, if all these flames just fall like in a bad pattern for you, you could happen to be upon a scenario where you quite literally can't dodge there. Mm. Oh my god, how do I kill this guy? Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> um, I can actually kind of see why this would have gotten uh, a negative rating now. Like, even though it looks very nice, it definitely feels quite rough to play, I'd say. Like, yeah. This series a little bit weird to inter interact with. But yeah, I made it. I made it. And finally we have the regular shot back here. Holy crap. And yeah, I might uh, actually replay the stage, you know, just so that we get to see both paths uh, there. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
I recognized at once what was about to happen. Oh my god, how am I still alive? Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Dude, that, that is tough to get. Very freaking tough. So yeah, let's just see here. Now we have a little bit more time here upon dying. You're, yeah, you've got a lot more time if you go this path, but yeah, we don't get the key then. <laughs> Hopefully this key doesn't lead me to another flame sword section. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. And that's kind of weird, like, I got that key and I got in on a separate path, but there really wasn't any reward for it. Or maybe there was and I just didn't know it is. Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, dude, this hard. This hard. Uh, this stage is really freaking hard. I have to say. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Hurry! Oh, yo, yo, dude, that was close. Okay, what's behind the teleporter? <laughs> yeah, the flame sword again. And it's unlimited ammo now. Yeah. Well, it was that before, but you know. Oh my god! Oi, oi, oi! Hurry! Run! Whoa! I'm so screwed. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I really liked that segment though. It was hard, but, but it looked really cool. Yeah, that was a nice segment there. Like, the first Flame Sword segment just felt kind of tedious, you know, when you jump back and forth there. But that one was, yeah, a lot more, you know, it flowed where it, it had a much better flow to it. So, yeah, I like that Flame so uh, Sword segment there. Tons better than I do the first one. And yeah, now we have to replay it here. But yeah, I'll just cut through this. You don't have to see me do this again. So, yeah, see you in a sec. Um, yeah, so let's try and not die this time, and look what we have here. But yeah, I'll probably just stuck, stuck, stick with the Firestorm here for now. Or actually, we'll use this here. There, for a quick and easy kill, very nice. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, um, the Atomic Fire will be very useful, I bet, against some enemies up in here. In particular these, because they get taken out. So easy, with a one-shot killer. Although maybe I should save it for a harder situation with them. Oh my god! Oh my god, every time I die I had to do this again! <laughs> and I'm going to run out of ammo! Oh jeez! Red robot! Oh, okay, back here again. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my god! Oh, I'll just cut back in here and talk for a bit. Like, yeah, I can definitely see. Like, I, I don't mean to sound harsh, but this is like. Oh, this is so frustrating. I really wish we had a. Yeah. I really wish we had a break here after doing this hard segment. Like,. Like, this here is hard enough, <laughs> but then once you get out of this, on the other side here, like, I, 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 I get through this here, like, without too many problems, but, like, having this tight jumping right after here, it's so frustrating to deal with. It really is. It's so easy to bunk your head here and, you know, just get sent back. Oh, here's hoping I don't fail this time. I really don't want to do that again. I've probably died in there, well, in here, I should say, <laughs> five or six times by now. Like, it's just getting ridiculous. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take my sweet ass time here with these jumps. I am not redoing this again. <laughs> well, if I die, I am. <laughs> but you know, I'll just say, I, I'm, I'm not planning on redoing this again. Okay, nice. I'm just going to wait for this guy. Screw it. Oh my god. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, finally a checkpoint. Jesus Christ. That was so tough. Like, this stage could have had 
such a popular score if it wasn't so frustrating to play at times. Like, it's a beautiful crafted stage, like, visual-wise. Like, it looks dope as hell, but some of the enemy placements is just, you know, aggravating to deal with, for lack of better words. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to probably die here. I should focus instead of sitting and ranting. But it's it's a little bit frustrating because this stage could have been... Yeah. This stage could have easily gotten into the most popular queue if you just, like... If you're watching this Red Robot. If you just remodel the enemy placement a bit to make it less frustrating and, you know, remove some of, some of those low ceilings, you know, when the player is about to make jumps. Like, those aren't all that fun to deal with. Like... Unless you're making a <laughs> Kaizo stage, you know, then those kind of things are usually used, you know, having the low ceilings so that the player really have to focus on their jumps, but yeah, I feel like there are so many of them, and if you're, yeah, if you don't make the jump, you're just screwed. Okay, let me just shut up here and focus on beating this guy here. See, there's actually a pretty neat posture, I have to say. I haven't seen Concrete Man used like this before. Oh my god. What? No! Alright, I'll just cut back here. Oh my god. Alright, do we not die again? Oh my, seriously? Oh, yes, we have him. Dang. He almost lost a comeback there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whew, but yeah, uh, uh, I'll probably... <laughs> I'll probably not be playing this another lap. Um, like, I'll give it a thumbs up because I think it, it has its shining points, but the frustrating flaws are really glaring. So yeah, like... Yeah, I definitely have a mixed feeling for Bronze Core here. Like, excellent looking in the visual department. But could need some tuning in the enemy department and like the layout of some rooms you like you bonk your head and it's frustrating and yeah So yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, the boss room was pretty cool actually too. Pretty hard, but Yeah, as long as you <laughs> know what you're doing, you can definitely do that fight better than I could so yeah Anyway, that will be it for that. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day